Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up Final IK for Unity VR. And we are also using, with this, we are using Auto Hand. First things first, we are already in back where we left off. And I'm going to go to my package manager. If you don't know where it is, you can go window, package manager. Go into your package manager and go to my assets. And then find final IK if you don't have it. Then you can go first link in the description to get it. And if you don't have auto hand, get second link. Alright, so then we're going to import this. And then just have everything and then just import. Okay, and then once it's installed, or if you don't know if it's installed, go to plugins. And if you see a folder called root motion, then it should be there. Okay. Okay, so now go to Auto Hand, Packages, and Import Final IK. Once that's imported, head on over to Examples, Scenes, Final IK, and head over to the uh, demo scene. I'm gonna shrink my 3D icons because they're too large. And then, as you can see, we have the body right here. But, since we're using Oculus for this, like, since we're going to export the game to Oculus, um, we're not going to be using all of this. Like, for example, this down here. We're not going to use this. And if you go to the hands... We will not be using either of these two, so we can actually use the, um, you know, auto hands. With yeah, we're gonna be using that, and it'll still work perfectly fine. But that's what we're gonna do, so we can still have the auto hands. Okay, so in order to do this, you need the Oculus integration add-on. If you don't have it. Then just go to the third link in the description and import and you know just get it and then import it into your project. I already have it right here, so if you don't have it, then go ahead and you know add it in. Okay, so now what we gotta do is you can start wherever you want. I'm gonna start from the uh you know hand player. What you're gonna do is go to add component, OVR, hand. Add that and then select your player and then the controller left touch left hand move controller or move axis do primary thumbstick and then uh, right touch right hand and then primary thumbstick and then you have that set up now so you can so what you can do to do it make it easier for yourself is to just select both of them and then add the OVR hand controller link first well it doesn't matter what order you do it in but add it and then okay so to make this easier for yourself you can drag and drop the oculus integration demo in here and you can check out the so you can check out the sides here in the hands and you can grab this stuff so like I'm gonna grab this copy this object and then you can paste it as a child in here bring it up here you can delete the old one all you have to do is just change the hand and then it'll automatically already have the other stuff that you have I'm gonna disable these two and then set this up. So what you can do instead of having to manually add everything is find the component in your object, the original one, in the demo scene for Oculus integration. Go to there and copy the component and then hover, head over to 
your new one for final IK and paste the component values as into the component and then change the hand. And then we already have this here for the finger benders. And then we have to do the same for left hand. Put it under. And then I'm going to go over here, copy component, and then paste component values, toggle both of these, change the hand, and then change this hand. Alright, so for the right hand, make sure it is right touch right hand and for the left hand make sure it is left touch left hand and then once you have that set up we're not ready to do it yet we have one more thing we have to do so this is just to make it work for auto hand if you want the extra stuff um, as well just keep watching and I'll add it there but what we have to do is you can close this go to camera and you'll see that you have the XR head tracking. We're not going to be using this. We're going to be using the OVR manager and the camera rig and all that fancy fancy stuff. So what you can do is, since we are using Oculus, we're going to need this anyway. So just copy this. And I've yet to find out if this has any use, but I keep it just in case. But... What I'm going to do is come over here and paste the camera rig in here. And then we no longer need this. So you can remove the scene. And you have to make sure you have it lined up because it's going to look different if you don't. So make sure nothing has like some weird Y, X, or Z, you know, position. Make sure it's all normal. And then I'm just going to put this in here and toggle this. Okay, so now we can get in Unity and test. Alright, one thing, one thing before we continue. I forgot to do left hand finger benders. So, uh, you gotta bring this so we can see it. And then we have to change it to left hand. So, I just go to all these and change it to the opposite hand. Oops. Okay, perfect. So, now that we have that, that's good. And we're okay, now we're all set. Alright, so I have to sit down for this because my headphone cord is not long enough. So I'm just sitting down, and as you can see, the hover on it works, the finger benders work, you know, the body. So now, if you are testing this, you will see that we do not have any, you know, vibrations. You will notice that we do not have any vibrations or anything on this. So we're going to work on that now before the video is done. But if you don't need this, then that's pretty much all I got for you. So, but if you do want to have the vibrations and everything, and you don't know how to do them, then I got you. So if you do want to have the vibrations and the sounds for the hands, then go to the Oculus Integration Demo, drag that in there. And if you want your own sounds, then you can change the sounds once we have everything in there. But go to either one of the hands, doesn't matter, they both have uh, the sounds. And I'm also going to grab helper scripts because of the hand clipping guard. I think that helps. So I'm going to grab that, then I'm going to grab the grab sound and the release sound. And then copy that and bring it over to the dummy. And then to the hand and copy, the, er, p not copy, paste that as a child into both of the hands. Doesn't matter where you put it, I'm just putting it all at top because 
I feel like it. Alright, and then once you did that, I don't think you have to change anything on the helper script, except this, if you want the hand teleport guard, then you just have to change the hand for it, but other than that, you don't have to change anything on these scripts. But, now, for vibrations, it's pretty much as simple. All you do is go to one of the hands and grab the hand public events and the hand collision haptics. So, just go over to them, copy component, go back over to the hand, click on whatever, just whatever component you want to use, just click on whatever component you feel like, and then paste component as new, and then you'll have everything here, and then just change the hand to your hand that you're working with, and then the first one will be, you know, the hand. So just drag and drop the hand object into this first one, and then select hand, and go to play haptic vibration, and select that. And then the second one is the grab sound. Drag and drop that onto there, and then the release sound as well. And for both of these, you're just going to go to audio source, and then hit play. And do the same thing for the other one. And then you have part of it set up. And then go to the robot hand in the Oculus integration demo. And then copy the hand collision haptic script. And then head over to VRIK hand in your other demo. And... Paste the components is new. And then that one, you don't even have to do anything for it. And then I'm just going to copy this. And paste this over here. Do change the hand. Don't forget that. Change the hand. Alright, so now go to your grab sound, drag, drop that in, and then set play. You don't have to do this one, but I like to do it just to keep it, you know, organized and fresh. It's using the right one. If you really want to do it, you can just take the grab and release sound and put it in just the player thing, wherever you want. And then just delete uh, the other ones of the release and sound. So you just have one thing of both. And then just use them for both. It's up to you, though. Alright, then once you did that, I think that's pretty much it. Or er, for the hand advanced options, you really don't need this. This is just if you want to ignore hand colliders. So, for example, if you have something underneath the hand that you don't want to have as a hand collider, then just put it in here. But if you don't want that, don't need it, then no point in having it. Um, I'm going to bring these sphere colliders over because I noticed that we don't have them and they're probably important. I'm just going to paste this new. Nothing you have to do to change them. Alright, other, other than that, it looks like we're done. And we can test this now. So, don't be, you know, a little bit odd like me and keep the demo like the old one, the Oculus integration demo, in while you're trying to test. Just remove the scene. Okay, so now we can test, and as you can see, I have the hand grab sound, hand release sound, and you can't feel it, but I can. I do indeed have haptics on now, and everything is good and jolly and happy, and it works. So, this is still in beta as of right now, but I figured, but I was, you know, a little bit confused because nothing was really working like the way I wanted it to. It just had like one beta version of like, all you could do is grip, 
like just fully it didn't have like the selected fingers like this one does so that's still in beta but I solved it in case you do want the auto hands you know like the abilities that it has to you know bend all the fingers that's really it that's really all this does but if you really don't care about bending the fingers like this or you don't want it then you don't need the finger bender on it so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right so other than that that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed see ya